36 year old female presenting to opd for her follow up for hemangioma of the liver she underwent a c ct abdomen and a 2 into 3.8 cm uh, mass was seen over the left kidney superior pole the patient was had apparently no complaint Thirty-six year old female presenting to OPD for her follow-up for hemangioma of the liver. She underwent a C C T abdomen and a two into three point eight centimeter uh, mass was seen over the left kidney superior pole. The patient was had apparently no complaint. All the routine and the special investigations were normal. The C T shows the lesion to be of fourteen Hounsfield unit. What is the preferred line of management? First of all, let us see this image. Can you see on the left side? This is probably an adrenal mass. Why? Because this is totally separate from the kidney. This is kidney. This is adrenal. So it's a adrenal mass, which has been dis. Uh, you can say which has been diagnosed incidentally. So it's an incidentally detected tumor. Hence, it's an adrenal incidentaloma. So what is an algorithm for management of adrenal incidentaloma? Let us try to understand. this is very 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 simple so whenever we talk about incidentally detected adrenal tumor we call it adrenal incidentaloma when we are talking about or when you whenever we are addressing adrenal incidentaloma majority of us want to understand whether it's a functionally active or an inactive so basically i can say that adrenal incidentaloma is of two types either it could be a functional tumor or it could be a non functional tumor so how do we see adrenal incidentaloma in a functional versus non functional interface whenever we talk about the metabolically the metabolically active hormone so metabolically active hormone production which will have hormone production functional tumor yes but here non function it is not majority of the tumors like if you talk about aldosteronoma if you talk about pheochromocytoma the patient always has symptom but in this case the patient is not having any symptom so one very common thing that you have to understand is majority of the patients who present with adrenal incidentaloma more than 70% of them are what non functional tumors like in this case the lady is not having any clinical complaint pertaining to adrenal gland so how do we approach the non functional adrenal incidentaloma whenever we talk about non functional adrenal incidentaloma one very important thing that we all have to understand is the tumor size so size is a very important factor size now if its size is more than 5 cm size more than 5 cm you have an increased risk of malignancy and that is the thing or that is a place where you're not going to spare any you can say adrenal mass and you have to go for surgery and the surgery that we do is adrenalectomy now when we talk about adrenal incidentaloma less than 3 cm less than 3 cm adrenal incidentaloma they are generally considered to be benign and they don't have an increased risk of malignancy and thus why to go for surgery an observation is the call and whenever we talk about observation what is the observe, what is the strategy that we follow for them the strategy is 3 to 6 monthly ct or mri now in case if the lesion is 3 to 5 cm for patients with 3 to 5 cm now this is a very tricky zone or a gray zone you never decided to go for a surgery nor for observation so here you are going to ask yourself three questions if the age of the patient is less than 50 or 55 years is the patient having a suspicion of malignancy so suspicion of malignancy like in this case the hounsfield unit is more than 40 in a layman's language for adrenal masses less than 10 is considered to be more be of benign character more than 10 is considered to be suggestive of what malignancy and is the patient fit for surgery if the answer to all these questions is yes the answer is you have to go for surgery if the answer to this question is no then you will have to go for 3 to 6 monthly 
सीधी और हिमा रहे सो लेट एस सी दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ वॉट इज द मैनेजमेंट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ टू इन टू थ्री पॉइंट एट सो दिस इज मोर देन थ्री लेस देन फाइव सेंटीमीटर एड्रीनल इंसिडेंट अलोमा द पेशेंट इज हैविंग नो रूटीन कंप्लेन्स एंड ऑल द इन्वेस्टिगेशन आर नॉर्मल देर इज नो कोमोर्बिडिटी मैंशन हेयर सो आई विल बी गोइंग फॉर अ लैप्रोस्कोपिक एड्रीनल एक्टिमी वाई आई विल बी गोइंग फॉर लैप्रोस्कोपिक एड्रीनल एक्टिमी बिकॉज अप टू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर यू कैन कॉन्फिडेंटली देर रिपोर्ट्स दैट सेवन और एट सेंटीमीटर्स नाइन सेंटीमीटर्स adrenal tumor 10 cm adrenal tumor can also be done laparoscopically but actually how it is done it is managed laparoscopically and then via phenyl steel incision you extract it it's better to go for a, i personally prefer phenyl steel incision in my cases because cosmetically also it is good rather than going for a big upper midline incision